Kevin Dory. Welcome to Greater Houston Gun Club, the home of the Briley Blue Goose. All right, Mr. Harris, how was it? Tom Seif ran his first 100 in the 20 gauge. We just shot his hat. Good for Tom. Tom. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Saturday Night at the Blue Goose. Obviously, we have the unveiling of the Bob Shelton Blue Goose Award. Uh, Mr. Harris, you have the honor. But before we do that, we want to recognize the other side of Skeet. That other side is officiating. Great officiating is necessary to have a fair contest. It's very difficult to recognize the efforts and the blood and sweat and tears that it goes into officiating our game. What does it take to be a great referee, to come back year after year and do all those things and stand in the sun all day long for a little pen? Obviously, it's a passion for our game. Tonight, however, uh, we're... Cliff Mulder, Bio Manufacturing, Hearing Rock, Greater Houston Gun Club, and others want to recognize two special individuals. Two individuals who have been chief referees uh, in their career and have done outstanding work over decades. The first person that we want to recognize tonight is the chief referee who's, who's chiefing this shoot right now, Shane Robertson. And uh, Mackenzie is going to present Shane with a silver blue goose money clip. Shane, come on up. Here he is, Mr. Shane Robertson. The next individual that uh, we want to recognize tonight also was a TSSA chief referee. Ray Rash started refereeing many, many years ago, and like Shane, worked his way up to TSSA Chief Referee. Uh, he also worked his way up to the NSSA Chief Referee. And as most of us who know Rayburn, we know that he dedicates his life for many, many years to skeet shooting. That's really what it takes to be a great referee, a great Chief Referee. The aforementioned Briley, Greater Houston, uh, the shooters here want to recognize Raven Rash for his decades and decades of dedication and passion for our sport. Raven, come on up and, and get your silver belt buckle from the champion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Raven and Shane, stand there for photo ops for a second. Right, don't move. Uh, I want to call the podium Mr. Tom Shepard. And I'd like to talk for a minute about that passion that these guys shared. We've all been there. We shot in the rain. We shot in the, sometimes even the snow and cold weather. They broke world records only to break them again. These guys and many of their competitors had an unbridled comparative spirit indicative of that golden age. The Greater Houston Gun Club has invested intellectual capital, time, and as you will see, considerable money in this only one in existence, Mount Rushmore Skeet. The men memorialized in this sculpture represent not only their personal achievements, but also the golden years of Skeet behind us, and part of the reason for the passion we bring to the game. I could offer a personal note at this time is for all of us to usher in a new golden year of ski. To do that, we will continue to do what we do, shooting the best we can, possibly some of us setting new world's records, but everything we do will be because these guys set it up for us. I've been humbled to be a part of the, even this, of this small ceremony, and thank you for the time, and mostly for the energy each of you bring to the game. Thanks again. Oh. Robert Paxton.
Todd Bender. Mike Schmidt. And the late, great Wayne Mays. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go So make the best of this test and don't ask why The footstone says, Bender's Choice Wayne May's Lifetime 1943 to 2013 Represented an epic and the history of skeet shooting Arguably the golden era of skeet. Wayne Mays and Todd Bender were not only best friends, but also the undisputed greatest champions of that era. From the late 1970s through and into the second decade of the 21st century, performance barriers were constantly broken and the bar constantly rose. Due to the abilities and dedication of a handful of shooters, in 2014, Todd was asked to select the shooters that represented the best of the best in that era, based on the following criteria. Work ethic, accomplishment and longevity. Presented here are Wayne Mays, Todd Bender, Mike Schmidt, and Robert Paxton, the best of the greatest era in our sport, Bender's choice. I All right, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we're going to draw for a prize. We have the Benelli shotgun. Must be present to win. Brandon is going to pull the name. Jacob Broadbrook. Broadbrook. Congratulations, Jacob. We're going to read off the names of the last 10 Blue Goose champions. 1997, Billy Williams. 1998, Ron Herbert. 2000, Todd Bender. 2001, Todd Bender. 2002, Todd Bender. 2003, Larry Wu. 2004, Robert Paxton. 2005, Stuart Fairbank. And our last and reigning champion, 2006, George Lear. Hey, Wu. You guys the scorekeeping crew? We, we think we are. Got two 100s. That's right, I'm waiting to go shoot or I'd be back there. And there's Mr. Don Snyder. No, no. So, no, Mr. No. Snyder, how was your shoot today? Hey, tell oh, me how it was. Yes, wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. Did you break them all? I did. Good for you. <laughs> I am so proud of you. I'm glad you're proud of me. Thank you so much. I'm proud that you're proud. Got <laughs> <laughs> CTs and a, and a sphincter put in, and then the last surgery I had, I did. Hi, right, Bobby. How you been? All right. Out of point, Out of So, where'd the cast come from, man? Basketball. Basketball. Did that screw up your skeet shooting? <laughs> Good. I'm glad to hear that. What's your name? That's a little girl. Ah. Yep. This is our this is our club mascot here. Club mascot. Yep. 